This is Insider Medicine in 60. From Oxford, a fat tax would need to be relatively high in order to make a significant impact on population health. According to a report published online in the British Medical Journal, reviewing multiple studies, researchers found that taxing unhealthy food and drink can greatly reduce non-communicable diseases such as obesity and heart disease. The tax would need to be at least 20 percent, and combined with subsidies for healthy food in order to be effective. From California, reduced air pollution improves cardiovascular health, according to a report published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Researchers examined 125 young and healthy doctors in Beijing before and after the environmental cleanup that preceded the 2008 Olympics. Results showed that the reduction in air pollution due to this cleanup improved biomarkers of cardiovascular health in the study participants. From Ottawa, research published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal examines the rise in medical tattoos. More and more young Canadians are getting tattoos that list their medical conditions and allergies as a replacement for the widely used Medic Alert bracelets. The major problem, however, is that paramedics and physicians are trained to look for the bracelets and not the tattoos. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.